Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Speed Build Monday, everybody's favorite day of the week. Okay, so today I am building a house specifically for a sim um, and we are done with the Build New Crush Challenge. So I was going to do something a little different and go like way off, but we are still in New Crest as you can tell and I had this build already, bi already built, already well, yes, already built and already uh, recorded. So I thought I would release this one and then next week I'm doing something a little different from what you have been seeing on Speedwell Mondays. So hopefully uh, that turns out because I haven't built it yet, but I do have a plan. Anyway, today's house is actually being built for the Pearsons. And if you do not know who the Pearsons are, they are my family in my Let's Play series, uh, the Rags to Riches Challenge with Lucas Pearson, his son LJ, and his wife Yuki. Uh, you guys may know Yuki. She is uh, from San Maishuno. She is one of the townies there. So yeah, so we are building this. Uh, it is a modern home. It's two bedroom, two, two, three, three bathrooms, I think it might be, because um, I'm crazy about my bathrooms. And uh, yeah, so it's just, it's for them. And I didn't really have a whole design plan in mind when I started building this. It's loosely based off a house, uh, but I didn't do it exactly like that. But I knew I wanted to give them modern and I especially wanted a nice big backyard because the house that they are in now is actually my Victorian townhouse build, which I did a speed build of quite a while ago and it is just too small. Uh, the house itself is a good size, but the yard is not that great. So I thought, why not build them a whole new house? This is quite an upgrade. Um, it is this very like white and gray theme. So it looks a little plain on the outside is my only critique of it, but other than that I think it turned out quite nice um so yes so it is currently actually Thursday for me normally I'm not this advanced when it comes to especially speed builds I usually do my builds on the weekend um but I had this one done because I needed to build them a house before I recorded rags to riches so I had this done actually last weekend and then I wanted to finish the build new crest challenge so I built a whole different house for that uh was once again a modern home because I love building them probably the most uh I'm not great at it, but I'm getting better. Anyway, so it is currently Thursday for me. Uh, it is Monday for you guys. And actually, while you're watching this, I am off from anything because it's actually a holiday for me. It is Victorian Day where we celebrate Victoria, which is our provincial capital. So in Canada, we have these things called provinces. They're, they're a lot like states in the states. And we have capitals uh, and the capital of British Columbia, which is the province that I'm from is Victoria it's also yes for Queen Victoria as well um so a little bit of history background on that Victoria Fort Victoria was actually in the states originally when uh settlers came and uh built or I don't know came in took over came in settled I guess is the word in um uh Canada um, especially BC, they settled there last because they found the East Coast, but they couldn't get over the Rocky Mountains to the West Coast. So it took them a little bit to get over here, and then they built forts for fur trading uh, with the indigenous people. So Fort Victoria was actually a part of the states, and then of course when the border was uh, made and the U.S. part of the U.S. started to migrate towards the West, we saw the border creation, and then Victoria ended up moving, and it's actually on an island. Uh, most people don't know that, and a lot of people, when uh, people talk about Vancouver Island, they think that Vancouver is on an island, but it's not. We have Vancouver, which is uh, a city in British Columbia. It's probably one of the most popular ones, if not the most popular one. And then we have Vancouver Island, which is an island off the uh, coast of Vancouver, and you take a ferry from Vancouver, or you can take it from Tawasson if you want to. Um, and it goes to Vancouver Island, and there we have places like Victoria, for one. We have Comox. We have Nanaimo, which is actually where my grandparents were for a little while. Um, yeah, so all these little, like, places on an island. The only scary thing about living on the island is that if we get an earthquake, which we're supposed to get a giant one at some point, they've been telling that us for, like, 20 years now, um, a tsunami would, in fact, engulf the entire island. So... 
it's, it's a little scary. Also, ferries are very expensive uh, back and forth. There's no bridge, so you can take a ferry to the island. But then, if you want it to be even more confusing, you can take a ferry to the Sunshine Coast, which is attached to the mainland. But you have to take a ferry because there's no road up there or no safe road up there. Uh, so, it's it, whenever people say they have to take a ferry to, like, Gibson, Gibson's on the Sunshine Coast, it's on our coast, but we have to take a ferry there, so it gets, it gets very confusing. Um, anyway, so this is all revolving around why I have Monday off. It is a holiday, so I have a long weekend, and somehow someone talked to the weather gods and said, listen, can you make it nice for us? Because we've been having very cold weather for this time of the year. Usually around this time of the year, we're in the mid, lower to mid-20s, and we've been at like, this is Celsius, by the way, because I'm Canadian, um, we have been at the like probably 11 degrees is our average right now so it's been quite cold for this time but someone was like hey give those people some good weather and it's supposed to be in the high 20s possibly the low 30s uh in on the weekend which I am so excited for because I cannot I couldn't wait for the nice weather I love the nice weather uh, I gotta wash my car um that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Maybe sit in the sun and read a book. But I just like, you know, it's nice and pretty. Uh, go for a hike in the morning. All those fun things. And then, as per usual, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be from here if you didn't complain about whatever weather it was. So, we complain about the cold. And now we're going to complain that it's too bloody hot. So, you know. Got to get in my daily complaining, right? <laughs> uh -huh. So, that's exciting. I'm excited for that long weekend. Um, we are the only ones that have a long weekend in all of Canada because, well, we celebrate, you know, Victoria and <laughs> Victoria Day. I think there might be... Who else? Um, where are we? There may be a holiday in Quebec, it looks like, it says on my calendar. Um, so... They may have a day off if anybody's interested. Quebec may have a day off too. I don't know. Um, I know that I do and everybody else does. So everybody, literally everybody, my brother included, is gearing up for camping because this is the first like, I guess you can say official, I'm using air quotes, official camping trip of the season and everybody around here likes to camp so everybody's been getting their campers up and done with and my brother's going camping i however i'm not going camping which is very sad it's a very sad fact um i wish i were i didn't plan it so i didn't like plan anything um and if you want to like rent a spot or anything you have to plan way in advance for the may long weekend my brother's lucky and fortunate that his friend his friend's grandparents have a cabin on Maine, which is a part of the island that I was explaining about. Um, it's actually a separate, it's confusing. There is the main island, there's the mainland, which is that like, it's part of the rest of Canada. Then there is uh, the island, which is separate from everything else. Then there's like little islands surrounding that. And Maine is on one of those little islands. So anyway, his grandparents have a uh, cabin up there. So him and his friends are going up. Um, but none of my friends, grandparents own cabin. It's really upsetting. Um, I could go to Arizona. My friend's boyfriend's parents own a place in Arizona. So, but I don't, I don't want to go to Arizona. Um, I just want to go camping and make s'mores and eat marshmallows, which is part of s'mores, but maybe just roast my own solo marshmallows. I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited about the good weather. Maybe I'll go swimming. I haven't been, ugh. Maybe, you know what I want to do? I'm going to go to the beach because that's what I want to do. I want to go to the beach. Um, and I haven't been to the beach in forever. Oh, I could also go to the lake because I'm pretty close to the lake now. Before in my old house, I was closer to the beach than I was to the lake. Uh, not that there's one specific lake, but there is one lake, specific lake that everybody goes to. So I could go to the lake if my friend is down for it. I should text her and ask because I have a friend who would love to go, and then most of my other friends are like, mm, no, sunshine, me, mm, doesn't go well, uh, but I love the sunshine, so I hope your week is going great, I hope you guys have sunshine or something, I heard it snowed somewhere on one of the highways here, not anywhere close to me, uh, if anybody is dealing with snow, I am very sorry for you, um, I hope that the weather gods then take my nice weather and give it to you, uh, it's been a weird, crazy 
kind of spring. It's been colder than usual, but we get these weird, like, hot days. I guess that's what you call global warming. Um, it's just been, like, it's been below seasonal average, but every once in a while we get, like, a way above a seasonal average day. Like, 30 degrees is not seasonal for this time of year. Um, and if I pull up the weather... I'll read you guys the temperatures. Uh, so tomorrow is supposed to be 16 and partly sunny. Um, if you guys want to know the weather. Um, Friday, 19 and partly sunny. Saturday, 18 and mostly sunny. Then we get into the hotter, hotter weather. Uh, Sunday's 22 and mostly sunny. Monday's 25 and mostly sunny. And Tuesday's 26. Wednesday's 24. Thursday's 20. Friday's 26. So I guess it's all next week that's going to be really nice. And those tend to be the way the weather works, how I find, at least in the summer, is it's usually a lot hotter than they say. Uh, whenever they say like 20 degrees, it's usually like 25. And if they say 25, it's usually around 30 is how I find it. So I'll probably get out to a lake or a beach or something this weekend or next week sometime. I need to go because I'm not going to suffer inside forever. Um, or I could just close on my blinds and play the sims that sounds like fun too Ooh, ooh! speaking of the sims which is the game you're watching right now which the build is happening um did you guys see the trailer for uh parenthood the parenthood game pack i did a reaction uh video to it if you want to check it out it's more just like a first like me just going like oh my god new items um i i am gonna do an in-depth like review of it when it comes out on may 30th I am so excited. I love when The Sims release things like this. They did this with Generations and they did a really good job with this, which is story progression in The Sims. It's like character development and you start, I don't know, building these characters rather than just creating them, if you know what I mean. So I'm super excited for it. I've been waiting for something like this for a very, very long time. Um, like I said in the trailer, though, I wish they had mashed all this stuff into one pack and called it something like Generations. Also, if y'all could just give us bunk beds, I'd be very happy. Um, bunk beds, pets, pets, I've been, I've been screaming for pets, but I feel, I feel like they've given us so many game packs that their next expansion pack is going to be a big one. It's going to be one of the ones that we have been asking for. It's either going to be the three I'm thinking of. I'm thinking pets is what I'm thinking is the main one that they're going to release next or seasons or universities. I'm, uh, I'm torn between pets and universities because as someone who just got out of university, I like making my sims suffer and go through more university while I sit and say, haha, I don't have to do that anymore. Um, but also pets because I just want dogs and cats and horses. I just want to live, ooh, ooh, sims, if you're listening, which I'm sure you're not, but if you are by some ch chance, um, can you please put pigs and, and goats in the sims pets? Please, the Sims 4 pets, I, I would like some goats and some pigs. <laughs> That's all I want out of life, okay? I want them in real life, but I can't have them. So if you could put them in the Sims, I would be forever grateful and continue to buy all your games throughout the rest of time, which will probably happen anyway. Um, anyway, we are getting to the end of the build here, so I want to put in my little blurb at the end. So don't forget to like this video if you did like it, and do not forget to uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all this nonsense. And I will hopefully see you all in my next video. I'm hoping maybe if this struck a chord with you and you like listening to me talk, then maybe you'll come again. Uh, if not, that's fine. I hope you enjoyed your stay and we will be doing a fly through ri really soon. Uh, just finishing up some landscaping. So enjoy that guys. And I will see you all once again in my next video. Have a great day guys. Bye.